Hi, Jeff Lawton here, and I'm making a compost toilet. Why? Because they're extremely efficient and they don't use any water. And a normal flush toilet uses 30 to 40,000 liters per person per year. Now we can turn our human manure into a very sustainable waste system and it's completely healthy. There's no problem. There's no problem with diseases and a lot of aid projects, it's an ideal solution, but it's an ideal solution for the first world and it can save a lot of money. Now I can show you how to make a compost toilet by recycling materials you can find anywhere in the world and it's really cheap. You don't have to buy an expensive one. So let's show you how to do it. The first thing we have to do is actually drill a hole right at the bottom of the wheelie bin. Then we fit an irrigation fitting and a ceiling washer, put on a ball valve tap and a fit into a hose so we can open up the ball valve and drain any surplus liquid from the bin. Then all we have to do is make our own filter and a bit of shade cloth tied on the inside of that pipe that just stops it blocking. This might be a little bit tricky because you've actually got to climb inside or crawl inside and screw the inside of that tap on and then fit your filter. Next, we need to measure the corners. The back corners are shorter because they go down to the axle ledge there and we just need a pipe cut in half. We need to cut an ordinary downpipe for plumbing. Cut it in half and cut slots all the way along on regular intervals down the pipe for aeration in the corners. Then we get ordinary strapping. We measure it around the pipe, strap it on with pop rivets drilled straight through the wheelie bin. Now we need to get a grill and shape it so it fits around the pipes on the recess of the axles and on the elbow of the two longer pipes at the front. Now we need a long piece of shade cloth that will wrap around the grill at least once, twice. Then we fold in the edges, tuck that under the back pipes and rest it on the elbows at the front. And we're ready. Now we need to get a second lid and we need to cut a large hole in this lid the size of the compost toilet delivery pipe. This is a band cut out of a recycled inner tube from the car tire depot. You can usually get them for free. This seals on the tube and goes down onto the lid of the compost toilet and helps make it more or less airtight. And the lid that's attached to the bin is gonna lock it down when it's full so it can go through a full moldering process. Now we just click on the garden hose and we can open the tap and any surplus liquid can be directed to a reed bed like this if you have one. Otherwise, it can go to a gravel trench in the ground with a slotted pipe so all the surplus liquid just soaks to the ground and becomes a natural fertilizer. All we need to do now is tip in 20 liters of sawdust. We're ready to start the system. Purchase systems, built systems, I've tried many types of compost toilets over the years, but they all work the same. Compost is compost. This system is as good as any, and all you have to do now, once it's full, is lock it down. Keep it locked up for six to 10 months, and then it's ready. You just empty it and use it again. This is one of the best systems you could use. It's made out of recycled materials. It's a completely waterless toilet uses minimum water and is safe and efficient. This, I believe, is one of the most ethical ways that you can use a compost toilet with sensible materials. Here's the end result. So this is what we can put around our trees. It's nice, high fungal compost. It's got a lot of sawdust in it, or it's got a lot of woody material. It's broken right down, it's nicely aged. Doesn't look like anything it started off as. It's quite safe to handle. 
just looks like typical forest mulch. There we go. Put it around our tree. Putting it back a bit. There we go, that's hue manure when it's gone through the process and it's aged really well. It smells fine, looks fine. You wouldn't have no idea how it started life. <laughs>